In this video, you will learn how to add a trend line in Microsoft Excel graph. Currently, you can see here I have inserted a trend line in Microsoft Excel bar graph. Additionally, you will also learn how to insert regression equation and R square value in Microsoft Excel graph. Secondly, you will also learn how to edit this trend line. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a bar graph. Select this one. I have selected this data. Go to Insert tab. And under Insert tab, you will find the option of Charts. From Chart, I will select first one, which is the clustered column chart. Now you can see here we have successfully generated a bar graph. I will not conditionally format this graph. If you are interested to conditionally format this bar graph or you are interested to generate other graphs such as line graph or scatter plot, then separate video tutorials are available on our channel. You can watch that video. In this video, I will just only focus on trend line. After generating that particular graph, select this graph and here you will find the option of chart element. Click on this. At the end, you will find the option of trend line. Check this option. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted a trend line on our chart. After that, click on this trend line to edit it. Now you can see here trend line is selected. It is indicated by these small circles which appeared at the end of this trend line. Place your cursor on trend line and right click. Here you will find the option of format trend line. Click on this option. Now here you will find multiple option. From here you can select trend line either exponential, linear, polynomial, power or other. I will select linear. You can also select other. After doing that I will select linear. I will scroll down. And here you will find different option. For example, you want to forecast forward or backward. Additionally, you will also find the option of set intercept, display equation on chart and display R square value on chart. If I check this option, display equation on chart, you will observe that Microsoft Excel will insert a regression equation. Additionally, if I check this option, which is the display R square value, then R square value will be displayed on our chart. If I move to this fill and line option, here I find different option. For example, if I choose color, I will change the color of trend line to red. Select this one. Now you can see here the line color is changed to red. Similarly, from here you can change the width of this trend line using this option. I will change it to 2 pt. Additionally, here you will find the option of dash type. From here, you can select dash type. Either I will choose this one. Now you can see here the dash type of trend line is changed now. After that, I will close this one. I will place it here. And you can conditionally format it according to your requirement. Additionally, you can easily remove this trend line. Simply select this graph. Go to chart element option and deselect trend line option. And Microsoft Excel will remove this particular trend line. So by following this tutorial, you can easily insert trend line and later on format it according to your requirement. And if you don't want trend line, you can easily remove that one. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.